The Air Force has requested $5.8 billion in its budget to create AI-driven XQ-58A Valkyrie aircraft. The autonomous crafts are ideal for completing suicide missions and protecting pilots, the Air Force says. The XQ-58A is a high subsonic, long-range strike unmanned aerial vehicle developed by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions in collaboration with the Air Force Research Laboratory. The low-cost unmanned combat aerial vehicle is designed for deployment in surveillance, reconnaissance, and long-range combat missions to deliver maximum operational flexibility and utility to the warfighter. It is intended to serve as an unmanned escort or wingman aircraft to a manned fighter aircraft in warfare. Human rights advocates say letting technology take lives crosses a moral boundary. The Air Force is seeking a multi-billion dollar budgetary allowance to build between 1,000 and 2,000 unmanned aircraft powered by AI pilots. XQ-58A Valkyrie aircraft are meant to serve as a robotic wingman to human airmen, providing cover and maneuvering around in scenarios where a flesh and blood pilot might struggle, the New York Times reported, and they're ideal for suicide missions in which a human would be unlikely to return. Later this year, the Times they were reported that the craft will be tested in a simulation where it will create its strategy to chase and kill a target over the Gulf of Mexico. Insiders previously reported this model of Valkyrie can cruise at 550 miles per hour. Its operational altitude is 45,000 feet, with a range of 3,000 nautical miles. Other models, like the XB-70 Valkyrie bomber first flown in 1964, require pilots in the cockpit, and only a few aircraft of their kind were created. The budgetary estimate, which Congress still needs to approve, lists $5.8 billion in expenses over five years to build the vehicles. It comes after several years of test flights by the Air Force in which the vehicle has been used as a data link for F-22s, F-35s, and the Air Force's Skyboard program, which is an artificial intelligence-enabled system to control unmanned aircraft like the Valkyrie. The Times they were reported that each Valkyrie will cost between $3 million and $25 million, far less than a manned pilot jet. Air Force and Department of Defense representatives have yet to respond to insiders' requests for comment. While the Air Force's next generation of air dominance program has garnered widespread military support, human rights advocates are concerned the unmanned war machines pave the way to a Terminator-style dystopian future. You're stepping over a moral line by outsourcing killing to machines, by allowing computer sensors rather than humans to take human life. Mary Wareham, the advocacy director of the Arms Division of Human Rights Watch, a proponent of international limits on autonomous lethal weapons, told the Times. Other AI weapons opponents, such as the nonprofit Future of Life Institute, call these advancements slaughterbots because algorithmic decision-making in weapons allows for faster combat that can increase the threats of rapid conflict escalation and unpredictability, as well as the risk of creating weapons of mass destruction. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres said in 2019 that machines with the power and discretion to take lives without human involvement are politically unacceptable, morally repugnant, and should be prohibited by international law. While the Air Force's initiative aligns with its next generation of air dominance program, the ethical implications of relying on AI-powered drones for lethal operations remain a topic of ongoing discussion and concern. As testing and development continue, striking a balance between technological advancement and ethical responsibility remains a challenge that requires careful consideration. Enjoyed the video? Smash the like button to boost its ranking. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Your support fuels our channel's growth. Thanks for tuning in.